What's up you guys, Eddie here Fliptronics. I'm gonna be showing you 10 of the best iPhone 11 cases to be using in 2020. All right, so I know we got a lot of cases here, but in total I own somewhere between like 40 and 50 for the iPhone 11, but these 10 are the ones that I've enjoyed the most since having this phone. Now I'll have links in both the description and comments if you wanna check any of them out on Amazon. Also, if you could smash the like button as I'm going over them, I would definitely appreciate it. All right, so let's start off with this case right here. Now this is the Spigen Tough Armor. This thing is a beautiful case. It's got the Apple logo cut out. It's got a built-in kickstand that works really well. And it's one of Spigen's more protective cases. Uh, the case also has a front raised lip on it. it. Comes in four to six different colors and you can pick this one up for right around 16 to $17. Uh, great looking case. If you do have a red iPhone like me, I definitely recommend going with the black because the black on red here just looks super slick. All right, so the next case I'm gonna be going over is gonna be the Otterbox Symmetry. Absolutely love the Symmetry. I, if I could only, you know, tell you to get one case on this list, it would definitely be this one right here. Now, uh, the Symmetry is, you know, Otter's uh, thinnest, lightest offering, but it's got a sleek design. Um, it comes in a few different colors. You see, I got like the uh, pumpkin color because I've got the red iPhone. So I think pumpkin looks really nice on this. Um, it's also got a front raised lip on it. So you get a little front facing protection when using it. Great case, a little bit more expensive. It sells, you know, between like 40 and 50, depending on where you get it, but definitely a must. All right, so this next case over here is the Zizo Bolt. Now, uh, this case is very cool. Uh, comes in a bunch of different colors. It's got a really nice kickstand on it. It's got a front raised lip that's, you know, pretty massive actually, so you get some good front facing protection. Uh, it comes with a belt clip and a screen protector when you first purchase it. Um, and, you know, I love the case. It sells for around like 20 bucks, something like that, but for everything that you get with it, you know, I definitely think it's worth it. The fact that when you do buy this case, it comes with the uh, screen protector is cool. It's a glass screen protector it comes with, but a very protective case, very nice, and uh, you know, definitely, Worth checking this one out. Absolutely love the design on it. All right, so the next case I'm gonna be uh, showing you is gonna be another Otterbox case. It's the Commuter series. Um, the Commuter is basically a very stylish case that also offers good protection. So it's a two-piece case. Takes a little bit more effort to put it on your iPhone, but when you got it on there, you know, you're basically good to go. Uh, I would say this case, overall um, is probably one of my favorites from Otter because it's kind of in that in-between of being, uh, you know, not very bulky, but it has really good protection. So it's dual layered, very good front facing protection on this case, and uh, it's stylish. Uh, I think it only comes in four different colors right now, so color options will be limited, but it's a great case. Uh, it also sells between like 40 and 50, depending on where you get it. Um, but definitely worth it. All right, so this next case we have here is gonna be the Caseology Parallax. This is more of a fashionable looking case. It's got a really cool texture to it. It's got an outer bumper that actually comes off the case. Front facing protection's okay on here, not, nothing uh, too serious. This is more of like a fashionable, thin, lightweight case. Uh, it's very easy to take in and out of your pocket, it's cool. Um, and the design is really nice. So it just feels really nice to hold in your hand. All right, so this next case we have over here is gonna be the Rinky Fusion. This case is cool, it's very affordable. It sells for like $11, so it's one of the cheaper cases on this list. But the cool thing about this one is that it's got, you know, the clear, you know, uh, background on it so you can see the back of your iPhone that looks, looks really nice. You see the Apple logo, which is what it's all about. Nice camera hole cutout. It's very grippy on the sides and for like 11 or 12 bucks, hard to beat that one. All right, so let's take a look at another Spigen case. This is a very thin, lightweight case. It's the Spigen Liquid Air Armor. All right, so if you don't want, if you want something like super light, super thin, you know, almost not even on there at all, this case is really nice. It's got a really cool pattern design on it. it sells for about $11. It's got a little bit of a lip on the front, not much. Um, but it gets the job done. This is a very minimal case, so if you want something minimal, not very big, then I definitely recommend this one. All right, so the next case we've got here is gonna be a Poetic case. Now, Poetic has a lot of nice cases, um, but I like this one the most. So, <clears throat> it's got the uh, clear, you know, background on it that just looks great, so you can, you know, it's actually kind of cool how the Apple logo is perfectly placed in this cutout right here. Um, it's kind of similar to the last case I just showed, the Rinky Fusion, but it's a little bit different on the design. It's grippy, 
and it's very nice as well. So I'm gonna put this down just for a second. The last couple of cases are also gonna be poetic cases. Um, but if I had to tell you like the top three on this list, if you wanna just go top three, I would say the Otterbox Symmetry is a must. I love that case. Um, I love the Spig and Tough Armor, and I love the Otterbox Commuter. But everything here is good to go. Uh, you know, if you guys have any questions about any of these cases, feel free to message me below in the comments. But like I said, I own 40 to 50 different iPhone 11 cases right now. And you know, these are the ones that I've just enjoyed the most since having the, the, the 11. Okay, uh, anyways, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and we'll see you in the next one.